Hello everyone, another update hit the servers yesterday bringing with it some nice changes to items, requested timer settings, and an additional tournament format. Let's take a look. The current playable item card pool is very limited, so buffing item cards is always a welcome change. Constant nerfs are not healthy for the game long term, so it's nice to see them increasing the power level of other items instead to compensate for the power of certain cards like Blink Dagger and Stonehall Cloak. Let's talk about some of the more notable item changes. First up, we have Blade of the Vigil. The cleave damage has been increased from plus 2 to plus 4, pretty significant since 4 damage kills melee creeps and creep like Bronze Legionnaire. This change will surely push this card into more play in both draft and constructed. Next up, Keenfolk Plate, which has an added effect that reads, Equipped Heroes Attackers have minus 1 armor. This is exactly the same changes we saw to Timbersaw. While Timbersaw does see more play nowadays, Keenfolk Plate is an item and will see less play overall. Phase Boots now costs 5 gold instead of 6. Boots have already seen play in constructed decks, but this change might help it fight for the auto-include spot that Stonehall Cloak and Reftel Signet Ring have previously taken. Similarly, on the health item front, Assassin's Veil, which is the aggressive counterpart to Phase Boots, now costs 4 gold down from 6. You now have 5 viable cheap health items including Traveler's Cloak that you can pick from for your expert play decks. More options is always good. The rest of the item changes are all cost reductions by 1, 2, or 3. Small changes, but still can shake things up. The cost reduction of 3 is only seen in items that previously costed more than 10 gold. Which makes sense, as expensive items need around the same balancing ratio as cheaper items to keep up. We will have to wait and see which of the items make a splash in drafts and which of them get slotted into constructed. The other changes included in this update were to private lobbies and open tournaments. Now you have a setting that you can enable each match to generate and play a random two-color deck. Also added was the much requested blitz mode, or as it's called now, the speed timer for social play as well. This allows players only 10 seconds to take each action. Combining these two changes is Chaos Blitz, a brand new open tournament setting that is an 8 player free for all that lasts for 1 hour and 30 minutes. Both interesting additions, an even faster timer setting is neat and should prove for some frantic fun games. While the new random deck generator should inject even more variety for those looking for it and provide the opportunity for players to try cards that they would otherwise pass up. An undocumented change this update, and one that can only be found looking in the game files, a set of mutation cards were found that had some crazy gameplay rules. Here is a visual view of what the cards could look like. Special thanks to Reddit user Katura for compiling the information on these. These could have been added in anticipation for a possible new featured event mode, or perhaps a taste of what the next set could bring. Either way, exciting new things are clearly on the horizon. Additionally, there was a slew of bug fixes that you can read about in the update page linked in the description below. With it came some more tweaks to the timing of the animations and brand new particle effects for some passive abilities. Finally, the most talked about part of the patch notes was an entry at the bottom. Quote, unchanged, still in it for the long haul. Valve's lack of communication is nothing new based on how they handle their other multiplayer titles. But even in these uncertain times and definitive low point of the game, it's nice to see the minimum level of acknowledgement and slight reassurance about the game's future. We're in it for the long haul too, Valve. And that's all for this update. Let us know in the comments which item change you think will be the most impactful. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in our next video.